G20 finance chiefs wrapped up their two-day meeting in Argentina. They agreed on the need to prevent trade tensions from hurting the global economy. South representative called for more international cooperation to mitigate risks from Washington and Beijing's trade conflict. Kuduni has the highlights from that session. The recent trade tensions were the main talking point at the G20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting last weekend in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The final communique stated that global trade and investment are crucial engines of economic growth, productivity and job creation. It also pointed out that although the global economy remains strong, downside risks such as heightened trade and geopolitical tensions exist. The representatives promised more dialogue and action to mitigate such risks and boost confidence. The statement's tone was stronger than the previous statement released last March, which only mentioned the need for further dialogue. South Korea's finance minister Kim dong yeon emphasized the importance of international cooperation to alleviate the impact of the trade war, especially when many countries are facing problems like high government debt. Kim added that developing nations are more vulnerable to trade wars and said each country should think about how their economic policies can affect others. The IMF also warned economic leaders about the consequences of increased trade tariffs. It certainly indicates uh, the impact that it would have on GDP, uh, which in the worst case scenario, under current measures and not taking into account uh, most recent uh, announcement, is in the range of 0.5 percent of GDP on a global basis. Meanwhile, U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said at a news conference on Sunday that he understands what the trade issues are and that the U.S. is trying to deal with them productively. He said that the U.S. had proposed that the G7 drop trade barriers between them and that the other G7 members are taking the U.S. proposal seriously. The original proposal was made by President Trump last June when he proposed the elimination of tariffs in talks at the G7 summit in Canada. People are trying to make this about the United States and protectionism. That, that, that's not the case at all. This is about the United States wanting free and fair trade. The weekend talks in Argentina come during an escalating trade conflict between the United States and China, which have so far imposed tariffs on $34 billion worth of each other's goods. Kuruni, Arirang News.